We could go all day about the qualities and characteristics of a leader, and the only reason you guys can actually give me an answer is because you have it within you. Some of us just can't see it yet. Usually when we do these leadership classes, I'll walk in, especially if you hadn't seen a presentation first, we're just doing a leadership class. Some, somebody's gonna ask me if they're in trouble every time. They don't know why they're in the room. There's like, are we in trouble? That was their first get because they have guilt, they have shame. Something went wrong, they did something wrong. They think, are we in trouble? And I ask them, I say, why do you think you're in trouble? And they say, because we are the bad kids. I've heard that hundreds of times, which I handpick these kids or ask the school to handpick kids to be in this class because they're the most influential kids on campus and they're leaders. So when I walk into a class and they're like, are we in trouble because we're the bad kids? I'm like, what are you talking about? You're the leaders. And when I tell them that they will literally laugh because they can't see it. So they don't believe it. I used to think seeing is believing too. Then I got older and I realized you have to believe it before you see it. You have to hold it in your head before you have it in your hands. But these kids, they're clouded with negative emotions through the failures. Something happened, something went wrong. They got in trouble. Now they think that's how everybody else sees them. Little did they know they're only in that room because everybody sees them as leaders, but they don't see themselves that way, so they can't believe it. So we have to go through a process of removing those negative emotions. 